Our guest today is Patrick Lowe, WTO Chief Economist, and the topic is the World Trade Report 2010, which focuses on trade and natural resources. Patrick, welcome. Thank you. It's dangerous to make generalizations, but can you outline for us ways in which trade in natural resources differs from trade in manufactured goods, for example? Well, natural resources have some special characteristics attached to them which we don't find in other areas where products are traded. For one thing, natural resources tend either to be finite, in other words, we will run out of them eventually, or exhaustible, in which case we might run out of them if we don't look after them properly. In either case, we have a, a particular situation to deal with in relation to how those resources are used. Secondly, natural resources, by their nature, they're natural resources, they're not evenly distributed across the world. And whilst that could mean profitable opportunities for, uh, for, for trade, it could also mean a source of certain tensions among countries. An additional feature of natural resources which is very important to bear in mind is what economists refer to as externalities. Many of them are associated with externalities. These externalities may be effects that are associated with harm to the environment in, in, in relation to their extraction. I mean, we've seen how that can go badly wrong in the case of what's just happening now in the, uh, in the, in the Gulf of Mexico. That's obviously an extreme case, but when these resources are extracted, they can have adverse environmental effects which need to be taken care of and which will not necessarily be taken care of if this isn't done uh, by governments. Another kind of external effect uh, which we have to worry about, and this is to do with particularly with looking after extraction rates of natural resources, is that there aren't always clear property rights associated with them. So one person catching a fish affects another person's opportunity to catch that fish and that particular relationship is not necessarily priced in the market. So we need ways of ensuring that in the absence of properly priced uh, natural resources, we simply don't exhaust them in this fashion. A third factor I think that's important is that some countries are, have, have their economies dominated by natural resources. They are the dominant characteristic of the country. That might sound attractive in the sense that that means that they have a resource, but it can also bring with it real uh, costs to, the, to, to, to such economies. And finally, a, a matter that needs particular attention in these markets is that they tend to be very volatile. We don't really like volatility very much because it makes investment decisions harder, it raises uncertainty, and so there's always the challenge of how to manage that volatility. So these are some of the main reasons, I think, why natural resources deserve special attention. You, you mentioned the exhaustibility of natural resources. We've seen uh, until recently with the crisis, we've seen economic growth globally growing at uh, a quite a rapid clip. Has rapid economic growth contributed to the exhaustion of natural resources? I think that rapid economic growth has the effect of making it more challenging to think in the near term about how to preserve scarce natural, natural resources. Natural resources don't necessarily have a properly defined market natural resources that one day we may have to do without or one day we surely will have to do without depending on the resource we're talking about mm. and so that does raise a whole series of issues. You mentioned this question of the link between economic growth and exhaustibility. We've also seen trade in natural resources growing uh, faster than other kinds of trade, growing indeed uh, at the fastest rate in some time. To what do you attribute that? Well, the faster growth, perhaps, of the trade is in part at least attributable to faster economic growth mm -hmm. among, among countries. Demand for natural resources and for food products, by the way, is rising mm -hmm. as people get more wealthy, as economic activity worldwide increases. So it's a, it's a natural accompaniment of a process of growth and development. And you spoke about this a little bit earlier, but the common wisdom is that to be endowed with natural resources is something that is a blessing. But there are challenges associated with 
having these natural resources inside your borders as well, aren't there? I think the challenges come when you have a particular kind of, of, of situation where the natural resource is very dominant in respect to the rest of the economy and the rest of economic activity. One way in which that immediately impacts on the economy is that it will have the, the effect that we refer to as the Dutch disease. The Dutch disease is essentially a situation in which your exchange rate is much stronger than it would be were it not for the fact that you have this natural resource to export. And having a very strong exchange rate makes it hard for other economic activities in the economy to prosper. So that's one problem. The second problem is with some of these natural resources, especially the extractive kind, it's hard to see how in a short period of time you can, if you own those natural resources, you can benefit from backward linkages into the domestic economy and diversify the economy. So you have this rather singular dependence mm. that m raises questions about where jobs are going to come mm. from, what kind of development path you're going to pursue. Mm. So some people have referred to this in the literature as the resource curse. It's a sort of a disincentive from diversifying your yes. economy into other areas. Yes, and it, and it carries with it. And then if you have poor governance systems as well, it's not quite sure what is going to happen to all the significant profits that come from this. How do they find their way? Or where do they, where do they go? How do they find their way into the domestic economy? How do we get genuine development, shared development on the back of uh, such dependence on, on single resources? So I think it's very challenging. It's a big development challenge. Patrick, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.